Let's get straight to the scene. Noel Newton joins us now live from the Echelon Building Complex. And Noel, I know you got there very quickly this morning. That's right, Terry. Within minutes, when there was still a raging fire, let me step out of the way so you can see what's left of the building. You can judge the intensity by just looking at all those windows that have been blown out. The blinds are just flapping in the wind, if any are left at all. It was such a frightening scene. One look, and you knew someone didn't make it out alive. A pilot on a mission of violence slammed his single engine plane into the Echelon building in Northwest Austin Thursday morning. The impact tore a massive hole on the first and second floors. Office space where people sat minutes earlier filled with flames as the foundation crumbled underneath. The site stopped drivers in their tracks. 183 was lined with onlookers and cars. All were in a state of shock. I'm, sh I'm shaking. I've never seen anything like that. Jerry Cullen, who happens to be a flight instructor, watched the crash from the parking lot of Marie Callender's located directly across the highway. He says the pilot did not appear to be in trouble and instead seemed to be going at full speed. It hit the building, the gas cloud erupted, and things started blowing out of the wind. First the, insula the windows blew out, then the insulation blew out, then those adjustable uh, what do you, blinds, they flew out. And then the fire started. Then it's crawling up the side of the building now. The guys who are inside Marie Calendar said the building shook. That must have been horrific inside the building. Mark Men says it was. He was sitting at his desk on the top floor when the plane crashed. And I heard someone yell, oh, and it somewhat startled me. And then I saw the burst of flames right outside my window. As he ran for safety, those in neighboring office buildings also evacuated. And there's, the heat was just so massive and so intense on the second floor that it just pretty much all the glasses started falling off. It was one guy walking across the parking lot that had stripped his shirt off that looked like he'd had some, some burns on his back. They didn't look real severe, uh, maybe just from the flash or something. Workers gathered along the feeder lanes of 183 for hours, comforting each other and hoping everyone made it out. But men think that may not be the case. Of course, I'm very concerned. I know of one person who hadn't been accounted for. Now, right now, firefighters are searching the building, looking for that one federal employee who is unaccounted for and maybe any other victims. We sure hope not.